for jewelry. Now, typically you won't find silk on a... <laughs> on a on a thing, and this is going to a jewelry lot. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, my name is Dana, uh, also known as Glamma. Glamma shops a lot on Poshmark and soon to be on eBay. So today we're opening up the uh, second half. Uh, we're going through the second half of the jewelry jar that I started with my mother. And I'd like to introduce you to my nephew and my production manager. Yes, this nice. is my production manager. Can He's an Dan. ace. Hey, can this is Kitty Cat Dan. Dan. You can also follow him on YouTube, right? Yes. He has his own channel and mm -hmm. he did a, a soft drink comparison with like generic soft drinks. That was hilarious. So you may want to check that brands, out. Knockoff brands, make sure to check it out. Right. Speaking of knockoff brands, we may have a few in here. Uh, so we're going to get started. Danny and I are going to dig through the jewelry and see what we can find. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to start with this, uh, this necklace. And the thing about this necklace is that um, this is a stone necklace, uh, and you can tell because the, the stones actually feel cold to the touch, so we know it's not plastic. Um, it's got some really great stones in here, and I think, I mean, just multicolored beads, black, blue. Um, so I'll have to look those up, and I do have a reference, um, Rock, Rock Hound. Hi, Rock Hound. Thank you very much for your help. Uh, that's what we call her. We're not going to put her name out on the street. Um, but she is very helpful. I can send her pictures of anything and she knows exactly uh, what the rocks are. And, and so rather than have to, you know, study them for 20 years, I send them to somebody who already has. So thanks, Rock Hound. Um, while we're at it too, oh, I just nice. want to thank my Olas. Um, you are the sisters of my heart and I truly appreciate you. Uh, Suke, thanks for the nails. Uh, she does my nails and uh, she's a she's absolutely a gem. So Olas, mwah, all my love. Thank you. Next up. Oh, okay, Ooh. it's a little mixed up here. Like a bunch of Yeah, sometimes things get a little tangled and that's okay. That's that's you know, that's why God gave Ooh, his fingers. Nice. This one is actually the um see how this feel that feel that uh bead. That is what they call a paper bead. Um, and it's made with paper mache, and then it's colored to look like different things. Uh, you can usually tell because they're kind of light and they just they feel like paper mache. They look like plastic eggs. They are a little well, plastic not, eggy. Well, eggs. Now this one's also got, it's got charms on it and I may take off the charms and sell them separately or I may sell them with the bracelet, um, but it's got an anchor. Uh, with uh, Jesus on it and then it's got another cross with Jesus um, it has a uh, a little cupid for some reason I don't know um, and another little cupid or maybe that's an angel I think, that, <laughs> I yes. think it's an angel. <laughs> an angel okay that makes more sense with the <laughs> with the with the Jesus bracelet um, and then there's, of course, a, a little uh, heart behind the angels, too. So um, I may also put this in my cross lot. I have a lot of uh, cross jewelry, um, religious-themed jewelry, uh, jewelry for uh, mostly Christian jewelry. So um, if that's what you're looking for, I'll be selling that on eBay as well. How you doing so far, Dan? All good. 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 Yeah. He's a YouTube veteran. He's been yes. on YouTube t way more times than I have. Um, so next up, we've got this really cute, I, I think it's leather or it's actually like a green cord on this bracelet. Um, Ooh, and nice. what I love is that it's got this toggle clasp. If you can see the toggle clasp and here's the other half of it. Um, it's an unmarked piece of jewelry, but I love the, anyone who loves green. Uh, and it gives the illusion of being able to wear a lot of bracelets at the same time. So what do you think? Oh yeah, it does. It looks good. Um, got a little like bit of little, design. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of gold. like right. It's got a little bit of a little bit of gold in it. So for anyone who loves toggle bracelets, you can tell that I do because big fan. Um, this would be a really great piece to add to your collection. Okay. 
Ooh. Danny, what do you think of this? I like it. I like the little uh, strands of whatever that is coming off of it. Tassels. Um, there is a uh, YouTuber who I follow religiously um, who is absolutely hates dirty tassels. <laughs> I actually kind of love these. I have to tell you, um, like the beads that. are movable, so uh, so it would go like this. And I think that we're, the tassels are short enough that um, I can actually take some uh, Lysol to it and then some Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid with water. You can tell I do a lot of Dawn. It really does take grease. It, it does what it says it's going to do. So this one's got little tassels and then it's got little uh, black beads in between. <laughs> I just realized Danny and I are probably growing matching mustaches, so yes. we're gonna look a lot more alike than you think. He, he looks so much like my father already, who is a very handsome man. So let's, nice. uh, next one. Now this one's got, um, it's got little, uh, I, I don't, I think these are plastic. And then the, yeah, I think all the beads on this are plastic, but it's really got- The clear ones kind of look, or are yeah. they the same? The clear ones are also plastic, but they've got, see how they've got that rainbow look? That's what oh. that's what we mean when we say AB bead. That, my friends, is an AB bead right there. So that's, that's what we're talking about. It's got a little bit of a rainbow, less of a rainbow than a crystal would. Well, actually kind of more. The Ooh. next thing we're gonna pull out is this sweet little beaded bracelet. Now this would go to, this is a glam baby bracelet for sure. So uh, it's uh, green and it's got little green hearts and we're very uh, we're very Irish identified. So um, this would definitely be a part of her Christmas present. We've got a Christmas lot going for uh, the glam babies. What I do is I get um, the jewelry jar items that won't fit a normal person um, or that are clearly made for children. Um, and I put those in a very nice, uh, really cute little gorgeous jewelry box that I found. And then she can just, she'll have her own jewelry sort of jar to open on Christmas. So I think that'll be fun. Um, we also have these earrings. I love that Goodwill tag. Ooh. Some of this we'll have to edit out. There's a lot of un, un, un opening. You know what that looks like? The um, little like these things kind of uh -huh. remind me of those bath things that you put like, I don't know what they're- oh, Like a they scrunchie, <laughs> like a bath scrunchie where, uh, or like a bath poof. He, I think that's what, it, it's like a, a net. So yeah, like a it's net. a bath poof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that. They kind of do. I really like these a lot. These those are, are uh, those, these I would actually wear. Um, I would, I love a good hoop earring. I love a good dangle earring. And I think with the, with the little detail and the beads in it, I just absolutely, these may be a catch and release. Um, these may be a, a part-time keeper. So I keep them until I've moved on to some other jewelry and then, and then I release them and I wash them up and sell them for sale. So those are my catch and release. I think I'm going to put those over in my private stash over here. Sorry, we just had to take a little pizza break. Yes. So uh, you may have noticed a wardrobe change. I am a very messy eater and St. Louis chicken and wings or St. Louis pizza and wings, St. Louis pizza <laughs> and wings. Thank you very much for a very delicious chicken wing. Um, so we're back after our lunch break and uh, Danny and I are here. And um, Danny, can you tell me a little bit about what you feel when you get this bracelet? Oh. I feel like a little bumpy. It, it kind of looks like little stones, just little stones put together with some string or, I don't know. That's pretty I, much it. I feel some bumpy and rocky. It's It feels good. Um, oh, usually kind of stretch it a little bit. It feels good. When a piece like that is a little bit on the heavy side, um, you always want to make sure and check it out. Again, I'll be taking oh, yeah, that one to Rock Town too. Um, so we want to make sure that, uh, even a stretch bracelet could be a quality piece of jewelry, just depending on, you know, what is on it. So, um, really depends on the maker. Uh, I would say don't discount any jewelry right out the, right out of the gate. I would look it up and look up comps on the internet, compare, uh, other pieces of jewelry that are like that, because you never know when you're going to get a, a really great piece and just not know about it. 
nobody knows everything. So we're all learning this together. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue our journey. Um, let's see, now we have this pair of earrings that uh, now belongs to my sister. Um, she saw those in the jar and she has claimed them as her own, so they are perfect for fall. Uh, and they're a little cloth pair, like a little uh, leather pair, I wanna say. Um, so somebody probably actually crafted these, uh, did a repurposing, um, and I absolutely love to buy uh, artisan jewelry. If you get local artisan jewelry, you're really, you're supporting an, a local artist and you are also um, a supporting a creative process. So we wanna make sure not all creative processes are gonna be monetized and we're okay with that. Don't get me wrong, I want money, but we we do want to make sure that we celebrate those who are artists in our field they have a nice texture on the front of them they do they're kind of like a uh, leather <laughs> almost mm -hmm. um so this next piece is uh this next piece is a, a little weird Ooh. it's kind of i don't know how would you describe that it's like a pyramid yeah maybe? like a little pyramid yeah it's like um what's it called uh pyramid no. <laughs> Pyramidical? The <what? laughs> Triangle. No. Triangle. The, no, I mean, <laughs> <Mom's> like, <laughs> I mean like the, um, where it's like the same on each side. What's that called? Symmetrical. Symmetrical. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks a little symmetrical. It's got <laughs> all of the original rhinestones, but it does have this uh, braided leather part. And I'm not 100% sure. I want to get a look at that in a little bit of a better light. Um, so let's take a look at this one. And my mother's cheering me on on the side, so that's nice. <laughs> you know, it's important to have support from your mother. Uh, so the next piece of jewelry that we pulled out is actually a, um, it's a, it would have been a really, really pretty piece, but what is wrong with this jewelry, Danny? There's a bunch of marks on it like old marks yeah it's starting to like wear off so yeah. um and, and it's a stretch band that's starting to lose its stretch a little bit you can kind of feel it um so that one we're gonna put on the same arm uh because like stretchy i said i'm gonna ones. cover my nephew with jewelry all the stretchy ones are over here all the stretchy ones are over there now what did we say about this rock one what did you this you one said something about of, that? it's kind of you could make like um if you guys know what ASMR is, you can make jewelry. Here. So satisfying. <laughs> ASMR jewelry. Yes. So satisfying. Don't break my bracelet. I probably won't. Probably. <laughs> And let's see. Um, okay, so this necklace with the Ooh. rose on the front, do you like it? You can have it there. You like it. I, I like, like that. Yeah, not a big fan of the uh, of the leather. I kind of um, like the leather. It's just when you get the secondhand leather, it's kind of you have. It takes a lot of cleaning. I mean, you have to wash it, and then you have to leather treat it, and so it's it has to be a really outstanding piece to keep it. Yours forever. Um, another one of these little uh, charm bracelets. Um, this one looks like a uh, oh, what do you call it? This one looks like kind of a like a 1982 golfing bracelet, like a guy who's got like a mustache and he wears a lot of gold jewelry. This is that guy, Check I think. The inside, Mama. I know. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be checking it for marks later just to make sure. So, okay. now Danny, hold these and tell me what you think. Is that a good piece of jewelry or a bad piece of jewelry? Feels like a good piece. Why does it feel like a good piece? Looks good and it feels pretty good and works pretty good. <laughs> these beads are uh, cold to the touch, so we know that they're a good bead. Um, they are also, it's also a really heavy necklace, so usually that'll tell you whether or not you have something of quality. Okay, so these, uh, I was just looking at these and they have um, little inclusions and I think these are glass beads uh, because I'm seeing what I think are, are like little bubbles. Mm -hmm. um, they're either glass or stone, but they're cold to the touch. Um, and Danny? 
Ooh. is now a little more tribal for it. Um, these beads are, I believe, just plastic beads, so we'll put those to the side. Um, and then this charm bracelet has, uh, it does have bumblebees and dragonflies and butterflies. So I do have a butterfly lot. Oh, it's got a ladybug too. Um, I do have a butterfly lot and I'll probably put these with that. I really kind of like the vibe on this one. There's something about this necklace and I don't actually wear necklaces. Um, my neck breaks out and I get really, I get really allergic. So, um, but, uh, but as far as necklaces go, I think this is going to be really cute. We have a beaded bracelet. Um, it's beads on cloth, but they're really great beads. I mean, it's got like the adjustable clasp. So, um, it, it goes in and out depending on your size of your, um, but these are nice heavy beads. So the little seed beads, but I, I really like it. I'm going to take a look at that one too. Now these are, uh, this is a really great um, stretch bracelet and it's actually got, these are what I believe to be real pearls. I haven't washed this bracelet, so I'm not going to rub it on my teeth, but it really, the, the thing about real pearls is that they really are that gritty. Um, it's got, since the pearls are not uniform and they are um, shaken, one of them's got, one of them's got some knacker off on it, but sometimes real pearls will also have the knacker knocked off on them. Um, but these, these pearls are not uniform, so I'd like to check those out. Normally you don't see those on a stretch bracelet, but every once in a while, you never know what you're going to get. Now this one is a, it, it kind of looks like tortoise shell, and it's tortoise shell and a gold tone chain, so I think that's going to be really cute. Um, I think it's going to be especially cute on Danny. You know, here's my toggle. Hey, toggle. Hey, toggle. It's your birthday. And now we've got, now you have Ooh. tortoise shell. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. It's heavy. It's got the different colored stones on it. I mean, it's really, really heavy. So these stones, I believe, are mostly crystals, um, just based on kind of looking at them, but they've got really nice weight to them. There's a beautiful color spectrum everywhere from light, light green and light blue to a beautiful purple color that may be amethyst. So I'll be checking this out with my rock hound, but this one I think is, is definitely a winning piece. This has got a lot of heft to it and we like heft. I hope everybody's ready for the bottom of the jar. We have, we have hit the, about the bottom of the jar. So we're going to, Danny and I are gonna stack these up and just kind of go through them one by one. Yep. Go through quickly. Um, sorry if this is taking a minute, but don't don't you worry, we'll be, we'll be finished very soon. So uh, this bracelet, there are a lot of bracelets in this jar. It's a very heavy bracelet jar. And I, as a bracelet lover, am absolutely celebrating this. So I really like this bracelet. Ooh, it's got, it's kind of a, I don't even know what, it, there, there's a, there's a mark, I think. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. But this bracelet is silver and it's got little rhinestones uh, and the rhinestones, uh, I don't see any of them missing. So it's, it's really just a gorgeous, simple piece. And if you have to have a piece of jewelry, you have to have a simple piece of jewelry. It's beautiful. Um, Mom is asking for it, so I'm gonna pass it over to Mama now. Okay, so Danny and I uh, are taking a look at this necklace. Um, it's got a, uh, you may notice that I have uh, more than one nephew. Um, one of them is in the back and he is really enjoying himself. So we're, I, I don't feel like I need to stop children from playing to have a good video. So sorry if it annoys you, but you know, that's my nephew. So you're gonna learn to love it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this one is, uh, da, 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 da. It's multi-strand beads, um, and these are, again, tiny kind of seed beads, and they're twisted up um, to make a multi-strand necklace, and then it's got the uh, nice shiny rock on the bottom. This actually feels like plastic to me, um, so it probably, that's probably plastic. 
Uh, this necklace, I it's missing a spot, a piece over here. It should have two of the smaller ones on this side, but it only has one on this side. So this is also going to be lotted up. There you go. Erin, you want to put that one on? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. No. You want a bigger one to put on? <clears throat> you have to... Let's give you a bigger one to put on. These are uh, glass beads with AB bicone beads. Um, I really like them. I love the glass beads, especially like the frosted glass. Um, I have a pair of earrings like this. But again, necklaces, I just can't wear them. I'm just gonna break out into a map of the world. It's gonna look, Aaron, I'm gonna look like on. a gold globe. Here you go. Ready? You want to try this one too? No. Okay, got it. He says no. He means no. No means no. Guys. No. Um, with this, no. I'm looking at these beads, and the beads are uh, the beads are red on the outside, but they're in the in the little hole. If you can see right here in these little holes. Um, if you have a string and you have a white in the little hole, you probably have um, maybe a, a painted piece of uh, a plastic or more likely maybe a, a paper mache bead. So it's a, it's a cute, cute necklace, um, but it just is paper mache and we'll probably put it into the, uh, into the bag for the kids. And then uh, the last piece of the day that we're gonna talk about um, is this piece. Uh, Danny, I think I'm gonna have to pop this one on your neck as well. Um, it's got a little tag on it, and I read the little tag. The little tag is, a, it, it is a Monet piece of jewelry. Monet tends to hold its value very well over the years. Um, it doesn't tarnish as quickly as other costume jewelry does, so it's actually quality made costume jewelry. Um, and I love this little piece. Again, I'm, I'm a very, you know, sort of simpler the better uh, when it comes to jewelry. And so it's got this, um, it's got this beautiful plain bar in the middle and then it's got the almost kind of scales heading up around the neck. So we're really happy with that. Uh, Danny, I wanted to say thank you so much no for problem. being on Team Dana, Team Ramrod. Ah, yes. Look at us, look what we can do. Um, and Erin, thank you for being in Aunt Dana's video. Yay, high five. All right. Um, so that'll be almost it for today, but as, as promised, I stick around for just a second. Um, we're gonna give a few shout outs and uh, we're gonna introduce you to meh. Thank you guys for taking this journey with me. We're just at the beginning, but um, after 30 plus years in the hospitality industry, uh, we have um, we have come across some times, haven't we? Hotel and hospitality people, my love to you. Trust me, it's we're gonna get through this. So um, I promised last week, uh, last video, and I'm gonna promise again, uh, I like to deliver. These are the weirdest things that I have found when thrifting this week. Now, this is, the first thing that I wanna show you is a bangle, and it's got bugs. So I don't know who the guy is who was who decided that this was a great idea for jewelry, but thank you, guy. Um, it's an interesting thing, and this is actually gonna go online, and believe it or not, I really think that this is gonna be probably the first thing that gets uh, interest and pops and, and ends up getting sold. Um, people are interested in bugs. Uh, if they weren't, there wouldn't be entomologists? Is that what they call them? Yeah, okay. Um, and then the second thing is, have you ever seen a depressed stuffed animal that wasn't Eeyore because this was the most depressed monkey I've ever seen in my life. It was so sad. And um, he just looks like, man, he's so exhausted. And I thought, what a what a great monkey for 2020. So um, he is kind of meh, so I did name him meh. So this is uh, meh the monkey. He's kind of over it. He's had a day. Um, but, you know, we're going to get better, meh. Yay! And uh, he just wants you all to have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Please hit like and subscribe and bye. Please like and subscribe.